Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit. This is the episode 3 of the GRC series. In this series, we will talk about the authority document, we will talk about the citation, we will talk about the control objectives. Um, and even I will uh, design a diagram and I will show you that how they are uh, related with each other. Because their relationship is a very complex and in further when we create the control, we will create the indicator, attestation, there will be more complexity will be arise. So I, 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 I thought that I will create a diagram and I will show you that how they are related with each other. Uh, so in this diagram, okay. So without wasting time, let's get started. How, um, what is the authority document and what are the things we can cover in this episode, okay. So let's get started. This is the Visio me I'm uh, using where I am going to uh, design that complete diagram. I'll simply click the edit and I'll start edit that uh, Visio and in the future class also or future sessions also I'll keep uh, uh, editing that one. So very first thing is that our case is the uh, let's say start document and here we'll say that this is the, our UCF document or um, something called UCF where the uh, where actually our um, all the documents stored and this is the third party document we know that okay and as i mentioned that from the uca uh, we are going to able the we are going to able to import the authority document and then citation so let's do that i'll import that authority document from there so this is my authority document so authority document so this document will be imported from where this document will be imported from the UCF so let's uh, uh, draw a line so this line is going to be indicate that where this uh, this is going to be denote okay so from the UCF uh, um, it is actually import the data it's import the data right so let's put that one also I'll put that import here so this data will be import um, some organization they don't import that they create their own uh, own stuff that's also fine we don't um, I mean there is no issues on that now this authority document and along with that we said that there will be one more thing is that uh, called citation so let's uh, um, put that here authority document and then citation will be there okay so uh, first uh, let's add this in a using the arrow so let's uh, reduce this and add between that um, authority document and then citation okay so very first thing UCF is a repository or you can say that half where we have using that integration we import that and it will be go for the authority document and then from the authority document it will be create the citation okay so let's see that how it is showing right now in our system and then we'll further discuss so here if i go back and then first open the authority document so i'll type that authority document um, you can see under the compliance you have authority documents and these are the authority documents are actually created from let's assume that from the UCF okay I'm not saying that how it is created but it is created okay and we take example of the this is the one of the authority document uh, if I take this authority document that this is the information technology authority document and this authority document is imported from one of this website and you can see that the source is the UCF means that this document is, uh, is uh, imported from the UCF repository and then there are category type um, uh, source id uh, version and then compliance code is 85 percent and the description is there and inside this authority document we have a citation right so these are the citations so breakdown of the authority document there could be this is the high level of the document and then each uh, document have a little bit breakdown for the citation if i go back here so ucf import that authority document from the authority document we have a citation and this is the breakdown of the citation okay and if I open this citation, one of the citations, let's say um, if I open this one of the citation, we'll understand better understand. So this is a citation. Each citation can have, you know, can have uh, parent citation also. There is no issue. 
and citations also have a source a reference uh, source ID everything is there because they are um, tightly mapped to each other and here also we have a compliance score so compliance score means that the top each and every record we have a compliance code and how many compliance I mean how much percentage compliance we are that will be denoted here okay so after some after import that um, authority document and the citation there could be one more thing that can be also import we call um, the um, you know control objective okay so let's suppose that name is control objective So this is my control objectives and this control objective I'll show you in that uh, document here this control objective will be uh, added here I'll add here a little bit in this position okay um, I'll say you the reason and then add to um, add a, a draw line and then attach here to our control objective and then add add here okay why I add it uh, this I will tell you later but at that moment I am going to attach here the UCF document is my UCF document the repository from here authority document will be imported and then from the authority document citation will be imported and from the citation it will be import the control objective why I mark as a YOLO color Control objective can be import or can I mean can be created manually so that depends on um, the organization but it is depending on the situation that how they want so first uh, let's understand that uh, how the control objective look like that so if I type the control objective here you will be able to see that all under the policy and procedure uh, you will be able to see the control objective and this is the control objectives uh, table uh, here all the control objectives is there almost uh, 1100 control objective is there if I classify by uh, group by by classification so there are um, four uh, four or five types of control objectives you can see so four types of control objectives so let's open one of these control objectives and understand that what are the fields are there in the control objectives very first thing is the name in the name is saying that uh, correct all found uh, deficiency according to the organization standard after the web application policy compliance review the source is the UCF source ID reference the parent um, and then uh, the percentage compliance course percentage is there and, uh, and there are a couple of other fields also there okay so it means that these control objectives will be uh, created uh, uh, from the UCA so it means that that is that is the reason I mark as a YOLO sometimes it can be created manually so in that case um, these two normally uh, we don't create uh, manually so it's a I created that uh, you know this color okay so this is the uh, the control objective control objective nothing but a breakdown of that and if you see under the control objective you have a citation and the citation and then um, authority document uh, so citation as I mentioned that the breakdown of the authority document and one control objective can be part of multiple citation it's not like that one-to-one -one mapping so this uh, this control objective map to the uh, this citation is mapped to the control objective and it can be mapped to the another um, another uh, you know citation so let's copy that here and then paste here I add here So this is the another uh, citation which can be also imported uh, directly right so we uh, put the draw line so there is a citation and this citation can be uh, you know citation one and this is a citation two these two citation can be point to the same control objective and uh, it can be probably uh, it, it will be depending on the situation right now okay so one citation can have all I mean one citation can have multiple control objective and the multiple control objective have a um, multiple citation also it's a many-to-many -many mapping okay so now understand uh, in a document where that what is the authority document so authority document manage a process and uh, citations are created within them to manage point-to-point -point process as I mentioned that authority document is nothing but it's a 
connection between um, a point to point citation and authority document Cite authority document is a high level of the any of this rule okay so let's say iso uh, 27001 example as the iso 27701 that is the authority document and it have uh, several rules inside that okay so that is called citation so let's understand what is the citation uh, usually authority document citation and control objective are downloaded from a third party provider as i mentioned that uh, in our diagram um, they are coming from um, you you see a repository um, that um, authority document citation control objective however citation can be created manually from your authority document so from the authority document we can create the citation manually uh, and the active option in a citation indicate whether the citation is active or inactive so citation have a active and inactive button so that denote that it's a active or inactive authority document holds the multiple citation so one authority document have a multiple citations and uh, roles required for that is the sn compliance admin or sn compliance manager so these are the role required for uh, creating a citation person working for an organization shall be aware of how they contribute to the information security management system effectiveness and the benefits of improved information security performance so that is the example of the citation i have mentioned here so authority document coming from the ucf uh, it's a, a automatic citation also coming from the ucf or automatic now we'll talk about the control objective a control objective is an objective directions or standard that acts as a guidelines for a company uh, interaction and operation so as i mentioned that whenever in a first day whenever we are running a, a big organization there will be many rules and the our case it will be only apply for few rules right so if i first day i mentioned that in the top here a gsc sample a simple example uh, this is my uh, you know um, i i am running the it training and then iso is the authority document and in this uh, uh, ISO 2001, I have a citation, I mean, for 100 students, I have a citation, uh, I am going to implement multiple citations, and I have the five uh, five citations or uh, 100,000 uh, citations in between, the five is applicable, so those five is nothing but a control objective, okay, so going back to the control objective, a policy hold multiple control objective control objective hold multiple policy it's a m to m relationship as i mentioned that similarly uh, in my diagram that a po uh, policy uh, we'll talk about the father and the policy but policy can hold multiple control objective control objective can hold multiple policy it's m to m relationship from the control objective it uh, it will create the control from the control objective we can create the control we'll discuss that further okay Control objective, uh, as I mentioned, control objective, if you see my diagram, if you see my diagram, control objective is a YOLO mark. It means that it can be created manually or can be created from or can be imported from the UCF document. OK, so let's see first in this uh, in this our um, service the instance that uh, in the control objective, how we can create that manually because we already I already show you that how it will be looks like in um you know um, how it will be imported from the ucf in here in this left navigation if i type the citation and inside the citation you can see that all this control objective so if i open one of this citation there could be a control objective or uh, there could not be depending on the situation so let's open this one of these citation here so if you see this in this citation this citation is coming from one of the authority document and this citation have a control objective in in the related list and if I open this uh, uh, control objective here from this related list, so you can see that most of the fields like um, uh, name, description, um, you know, uh, these uh, parents, source ID, reference, everything is most of the things are read only because these uh, uh, control objectives are imported from the uh, UCF document and that's the reason most of the fields are read only. If you create your by yourself, uh, actually um, you can create um, uh, ourselves. We can create that um, by ourselves. We'll do that. Uh, in case, if you see, there are a couple of things is, um, you know, um, editable one is the create control automatically. How we can create the control from the control objective will tell, I uh, will discuss that. 
uh, attestation and issue group rule these are the very minor i uh, you know fields are uh, you know um, no editable okay so that's that's nothing if you go back to the control uh, citation in the related list you have a two citations as i mentioned that control objective is a um, many to uh, many to many relationship like here it's a many to many relationship so there is nothing uh, wrong here and definitely this citation compliance score is zero because this is the dummy data and it has a comp uh, compliance score is zero coming back to the creation of uh, control objective manually as i mentioned that it uh, here it's in yolo mark so that we can create that control objective manually also or we can create the citation manually also because if you see citation new button is available similarly if i go back to the citations here i um because if i go back to the citation i should be also see one new button on the control objective here okay so you can manually add any existing control objective or else you can create manually control objective so let's create one control objective here. So um, as I uh, put here, I'll put that uh, test uh, control objective and copy that. And here we'll put the description. Uh, you have a category. You can define that based on your uh, actually um, fulfillment or based on your uh, criteria. You can classify that uh, and then you can Put the type also these are i mean the data driven uh, for the reporting purpose a uh, control objective can be one i mean can be attached to the parent control object it means that one uh, control objective can have child child control objective also okay source and source id is read only because it, it will be popular if you are importing from the integration or somewhere else like use document so once we save that you can see uh, under the cite uh, the citation is showing in the related list if i open the citation right now one i created basically this is the one i created actually okay this is the one i just created okay so that how you can attach to the i mean you can attach citation to the control objective or you can create uh, the control objective manually similarly for the citation also so that's it for today uh, we discuss about control objective we discuss about authority document and citation in our next session we'll talk about that um, you know policy we'll talk about the control and we'll discuss further still the time like share and subscribe and share with your community with this video thank you very much have a great day